Good evening and salutations, my Days of Lives fans. Wendy Shen, the gift that just keeps on giving. I've had issues with Wendy since day one. And her character has not got has not gotten any better moving forward. So watching this scene with her and EJ, watching her think that she's the smartest person in the room, is not only laughable, but it's just annoying. I was so glad when AJ fired her because this is after she did tell AJ that Susan's still alive when, when she pretty much kind of got caught red handed. Um, and then she thought that, oh, so I'm just going to go back to the Alaska base? No, boo. You're not going anywhere. You're done. You're fired. And she stood there with that stupid look on her face because. There's something that Wendy said that really pissed me off, right? When EJ was to talking about when I sit, whenever I sit there and see employees like snooping through my office or whatever, and she was like, women, I'm a woman. And I'm just like, well, this isn't the time to do your whole I am woman, hear me war crap, okay? This is, this is definitely not that time for that. And on top of that, hmm. I'm going to piss off a lot of people. I'm going to piss off a lot of people. I did this review three times and I cannot get past this part. And I'm going to offend some people. So if you're one of those type of people that gets easily offended, you might want to sit there and just exit loud. Okay? Wendy was caught dead hand, was, was caught, you know, death to rights. Right? And she pulls out this feminine BS when he calls her an employee, saying that she's a woman. Well, what is what is your sexuality has anything to do with the fact that you're still an employee? And he is still your boss. He is still your manager. Like, the fact that she got tripped up on words like that, I just, I, I can never be around someone like that. Never. Because I would lose my goddamn mind is every time I said something to this person, they had to sit there and try to constantly correct me. No, I'm a woman. I'm di and this isn't the first time that that level of feminine BS came out of her mouth. Okay? Not that long ago, maybe when she first started, when she found that the EJ, you know, was running the Mara, she said, oh, great. Another straight white male is running a company. What does his sexuality and his gender have anything to do with the fact that he's running a company? If the company is doing good, that's what I should matter at the end of the day. Not their sex, not their gen not not their sexuality, none of that. So I've ne I've never liked this cat. I never liked that character from day one. And watching her get watching her get fired, it just it brings so much joy to me. It really did, because she's one of those type of she's one of those type of people that have to sit there and be humbled and learn the hard way. Jada and Talia. Now Jada came down on Talia Talia pretty hard, and what I didn't like about what Talia was just saying was that she tried to use alcohol to justify her bad decisions. And at the end of the day, you still made those decisions. You're not going to sit there and use alcohol as an excuse for you not to hold accountability towards yourself. Because I'm not even really caring about the sanctity of marriage or anything like that, but the fact of the matter is you literally screwed over Belle by screwing her husband. Belle, the only lawyer that would sit there and, and be bothered to represent you, you screwed over. So I am glad that Jada actually came down on her because that's something that she needed desperately. Now, Tripp is another person who thinks that he is smarter. He's the smartest person in the room. And he knew damn well that Rafe had them That's the right. That's the right. Right? So... Bottom line is, Rafe was like, yo, listen, 
if you don't tell me what you what what you know, if you don't tell me the information that I need to know, I'm going out the window. Because like the two idiots that y'all are, y'all decide to just sit there and just leave y'all evidence just out there in the park, you know what I mean, just out there, you know, on the streets or whatever, in the alley, like a bunch of idiots. And so finally, Trip, you know, gave him the information um, you know, to where Ava and and Harrison is. What I don't understand is Rafe is Smith they're telling Jada, hey, would you like to sit there and take a trip to London to, to find Harris and, and and Ava? And I'm just like, but that's not your jurisdiction. Like that's not that's 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 beyond your jurisdiction. W- what are you <laughs> what are you doing? Um, I mean, I know it's a soap opera and they play fast and loose with a lot of different laws and things of that nature. And I am never going to get over the damn HIPAA scene with um, Willow, the judge, and Shiloh on General Hospital. I'm never going to get over that. But I know they're playing fast and loose with the laws, but I'm just like, bro, really? Then again, they do sit there and talk about possession and devil and stuff like that. So... Okay, all right. I guess I could sit there and bend it a little bit. I guess I can bend. I guess I could sit there and bend my disbelief. Now, while that's going on, Sean is not there trying to explain to Bella that he's, you know, he's going to sit there and change. He's going to go to a meeting. This, that, and the third. He's going to get a life together. But at this point, Bella's like, "Yo, I see when I believe it." And of course, they ran into quote unquote the other woman. So now you just have this really awkward scene of Jada talking to Belle about the fact that, you know, things didn't work out with her and Chanel. I'll play it this one. And I said this before my last stream. Talia's story should have ended the minute that Colin went to jail. Because at that point, there was really no use for her to be on the show. It really wasn't. She could have just went right back to New York, decided to be a resident there, and just end her story. Instead, they decide to make her lesbian because, I don't know, reasons, um, and decide to just keep it going. And now, the actress is leaving for reasons that, oh, I don't even know why she's leaving. And that's, that's the part that's just so stupid. It's like, why is she leaving? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know why she's leaving, but it seems like the character's leaving as well. I mean, you can't just sit there and just swap her out for somebody else. Like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. I know that a lot of people are leaving days at this alarming rate. Um, I know Martha is leaving because, well, they're not giving her anything to do. They're not really giving her much to do. She needs to work. She needs to sit there and make that money. Um, and I'm pretty sure she's also invested in the story and the character and stuff like that too. And it's the same, it's one of the same reasons why Greg Brown left originally. But just watching these characters leave at such an alarming rate is just insane. Um, Johnny Shana didn't really do too much of anything. He came with a bunch of flowers. She had to sit there and take some, I don't know, I guess like Benadryl kind of, kind of medicine and it made her sleepy and well, Johnny left. That, that pretty much summed up their whole their whole scene. Now, Chanel did wind up texting Talia, which I was just like, that's a bad idea. I understand the level of compassion she has, but getting a text from your ex after you've been dumped is is it's just hurtful. Okay? It comes across as pity. It's already bad enough that you practically rejected me. You shut me down. You made me, in a lot of ways, feel, feel less than. I know that wasn't the intention, but that's the that's the outcome of it. But then it'd be snippy getting these pity taxes. Oh, stop. Stop. I understand her intentions may be good and well, but no. <laughs> um, Michael wants to sit there and sleep on a chair. And Ava's like, you can sit there and sleep in the bed. And Harris is like, do you want me to sleep with you? Well, you're not new to this. The way he said it, it's almost like you just became this 18-year-old virgin still, and it's like, you want me to sleep with you? 
No, idiot. She wants you to sleep in a bed so this way it doesn't ever be back. Why are we having this discussion for? But of course, he's all like, no, I'll sleep on a couch or whatever, on a chair. And they talk a little bit about Jake. Because you, know, you remember Jake, right? Jake the mechanic? Remember remember Jake the mechanic? Yeah. Um, so she talks about her past. <clears throat> and, you know, long story short, Mike, you know, Harrison, well, Ava, Ava starts to trust Harrison a little bit more. So you know they're going to sit there and want to puff him up. You know, I'm not gonna lie. There was so many times I was sitting there watching. It was like, man, you know, Jason and Carly. I mean, um, Harris and Ava. I, it just the lines blur. The lines blur, and it blurs even more for me because I've been watching General Hospital for a while. So when you see those same characters in another soap opera doing a scene together, it's like, yeah, it just kind of blurs for me. One other thing, uh, Trip and Wendy want to see each other at the hospital, and Wendy is like, you know, I got fired, you know, I know, you know, you told me not to sit there and snoop or whatever, but you know, I'm me, so I'm going to sit there and do it anyway, and, you know, Trip is like, you know, listen, I'm sorry that you got fired, he's, he's like, oh, you know, I'll worry about that later on, I was like, you're not going to be worried about that later on, when renters do, <laughs> I was like, what are, you, what are you talking about, oh, I'll worry about that later on. Yeah, that's that's not how life works, okay? You don't have a job, you don't have money. You have money, you're gonna be on the streets. Okay, this this again, this whole Gen X attitude of I'll just figure it out, I'll just manifest the money somewhere, it's like the hell is your problem? Like what's wrong with you? Now in all retrospect. All retrospect. I mean, Shane is rich, their dad is rich. See, this is this is part of the reason why sometimes I, I sit there and I look at even like Chanel when she got, you know, when her bakery shut down. It's like, oh my god, what are you gonna do? You know, you're not gonna be able to pay the rent. Oh wait, your mother's rich. <laughs> your mother's rich. It, it just it doesn't matter at this point, you know. Um, and maybe that's why she has that cavalier attitude of, oh, I'll worry about that later on. It's like. I guess in the hindsight, it's like she doesn't really have to worry about that at all since she comes from a rich family. Anyway, I feel like that's pretty much about it. I can't believe Wendy actually tried to throw it in EJ's face. Oh, you only snipped to acting like this because, you know, I dumped I dumped on um, Johnny. I'm like, bro, first of all, you're not all that. Okay, you're not you're not even nearly all that. Oh, I can't stand that character. Anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go. I want to thank you for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Or live stream. And if I miss, and if I forgot anything, well, come to the live stream tonight. 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. We'll sit there and talk about all the shows, YNR, GH, Days, and BNB. And I'll see you in the next, well, live stream or video.